Members of City Council's Black Caucus today filed their version of a ward map with the clerk's office. The move makes it more likely that voters will decide what Chicago's ward boundaries should look like come this June 28th primary. That is, unless 41 older people agree on a map before the end of May. Alderwoman and Rules Committee Chair Michelle Harris made nothing short of a plea to one colleague in particular. Gil Viegas, let me know when you serious when you serious about coming into the room and working with us to do a map. And WTTW News reporter Heather Sharon joins us with more on the latest chapter of Chicago's war map saga. Hey, Heather, we should mention that Viegas had filed the map that he supported. And so now this map is filed. What does it include? Well, it really comes down to a question over how many wards will have a majority of black voters and how many wards will have a majority of Latino voters. Alderman Gil Viegas has said he will not accept a map with fewer than 15 wards with a majority of Latino voters. And that is not possible when it comes to the black caucus because they are unwilling to accept a map with fewer than 16 wards with the majority of black voters and one ward with a plurality of black voters. Now, the only thing these two sides agree on is that the map, the next ward map should create Chicago's first ward that has a majority of Asian voters. So that is also included in the map today that was filed with the city clerk, setting up a head-to-head -head contest between these two maps for the first time in 30 years. And that is barring any kind of backroom agreement over the next three months or so. So Heather, why was Harris calling out Viegas today? Well, it's really seen as sort of Alderman Viegas's show. He is the chairman of the Latino caucus. He has been working with Vice Chair Alderman Silvana Tavares to really make sure that Latino politicians in Chicago do not accept what they would consider another bad deal. The last time the city council went through a ward remap, Latino al alder people felt like they got the short end of the stick and they are determined to not let that happen again. And Alderman Viegas, who's running for Congress, also in the June primary, is determined to not let that happen. And it has really become a battle of wills between Alderman Harris, who is a member of the Black Caucus and the Rules Committee Chair, and Alderman Viegas. And as we mentioned, voters would have to choose between these two maps in a referendum on the June 20th primary ballot. So what is next in the interim? Well, we heard from Mayor Lori Lightfoot today that she thinks that a compromise is still possible. I don't know if one is. She also said that she would not endorse one map over the other map. So if things remain where they are today, we are in for quite a contest about what the future of Chicago politics will look like and what that balance of power will be for the next 10 years. Yeah, it's a simple math problem at this point, Heather. Neither map has the votes necessary. All right. Great. Thanks very much. Thanks, Paris. And you can read Heather's full story on our website. That's WTTW.com news.